priority is obviously their safety and then but also too we don't we need, you, to, we need to get in and out of there yeah yeah you don't want to be a hazard to them right for sure it is yeah so, okay all right. all right we'll figure out what's okay. going on Tell thanks you. okay so we have mom and babies it sounds like in a shed in the back of this business um he's somewhat concerned that we're leaving them on site but it's the only way to do it so hopefully she won't uh she won't stay on this property let's try not to back up into anything here so we're going around back to meet up with one of his colleagues that will show us where they are and they're, they're not sure how it got into the shed so there must be a hole somewhere that they're not seeing let's get through this tiny little gap here okay I have no idea how big these sheds are hopefully they're not monstrous oh yeah it's not really a shed it's more of a garage Where's they said the east one yeah which would be this bigger one at the back here I don't know where it's he did say it's in a crate in the back corner so and I see a box back in that back corner hopefully she's in there I would say two three weeks ago and then we said okay we'll wait we'll see if they leave or whatever yep then they migrated to this shed right typically you think she's in that box yeah okay she's not there now so they've had this issue for a few weeks now they usually were seeing the mother and babies in here this box but he said when they're scared they also go up and hide inside these coils so that's just a hollowed out coil set there so they can could be in any of those coils there's a lot of them or really in any of these boxes so we're going to do a search see if we can find them kind of like hide and seek and he said it's a mom and four babies that we're looking for Okay, the box that they originally saw mom and babies in is empty. So she's obviously moved somewhere. She may have moved out of the shed. The, the interesting part is this shed is closed at the end of every day. And it looks like it's a very solidly built shed. So if she's in here um, at the end of the day, she wouldn't be able to get out. She'd be locked in with her babies. So she might have figured that out and that it's not a great place for her to to come and go from but they didn't uh, see her yesterday though they said, they said they saw the mom yesterday yeah we'll just have to look into all these boxes and he did say that she moved the babies into one of these coils not that one not that one. Yeah, in that one. Here she goes. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. How are you getting out of the building? Maybe she'll show us. Oh, there you are. Wow. I can hear the babies in the bottom. Three times the charm. I don't. I don't. She's about think to move. Hmm. Let's see where she goes. Well, I'm not sure she's heading out. I think she's just avoiding us. Okay. Sorry, Mom. So getting the babies is going to be really easy. We're just going to remove each coil until we get to her. Um, we could play a game all day long on these rafters. Yeah. But uh, I think lure her with a baby would be more successful than. Yeah. So what we want to do is close the doors to these sheds. Right. Close this one too. I think so. probably used to that sound. Um, she's used to that sound because they would 
close up this building at the end of every night. I want um, to keep this one open though. Yeah. Okay, come over here. We'll just let's get a baby and see what she's gonna do with it. You can reach down and grab one without taking all of them out. She's uh, definitely heading. They're big. Heading in a certain direction. Oh, they are big. We got one. Mom, come on. Look. Look. Come on. We'll take one down. Maybe we should open that other garage again. Because she went over oh, there. She's Mom, look. Can you get him to cry? Come get your baby. Call out for mom. Call for her. Okay, she's, she's coming. She's good. Maybe we should get all the babies. But we'll see. She is interested though. Maybe Wait, just. No, stay close. Stay close. I was going to place them on the ground. Come on, Mom. She's coming. Once she gets closer, I will put them. Okay, she's on the ground, Cassandra. Just stay put. Okay, get in, play. That's okay. Okay, close this door. Mom. She's coming. Okay, make sure she doesn't climb the building. <laughs> okay, good. We don't know if she's getting in somewhere else. Make sure she goes off. There she goes. That's good. She has another place to go to. That's exactly what we want to have happen. Gave, we don't know yet. We just gave the mother one back. That was good. Yeah, that went well. Um, very maternal mother. We don't always know what we have in the temperament of the animals we're dealing with, but she obviously, a uh, good mother, wants her babies back. Now it's just a matter of uh, setting up the rest of the babies in a baby, baby box. But let's go see where they are. Getting in under that door. Oh. She's right now, no, she's not there now. Great little spot for her. Not a lot of room for her to move around, but she would have been right on top of the babies. Yeah, right on top, and or them them on top of her. Would have been squishy for them to figure out their situation to sleep when she does come back. We'll grab another little guy. This is number two. His mom has number one. <laughs> They're a bit smaller than some we've seen this week, but they're still eyes open at least four weeks, probably closer to five. Their eyes are wide open. Hey, buddy. Mom chose a good spot for you guys, huh? It's number one. Number two. So they've already been moved once. So they were in that box down there. She obviously recognized that it was a little exposed with everyone coming in and out of the shed all day long. They said that the doors are always open and people are just coming in for equipment. So she moved them into these coils, which was perfect. we we'll grab the last guy, number four. Okay, we have all the 
babies. The three here, and mom has one. And right now, I'm not sure if she'll come back, but we're going to put these guys, come back right now, I mean, while we're still here. But we're gonna put these guys in our release box, and they'll be waiting for her when she comes back. <laughs> Buddy. They've been on a bit of an adventure so far in their life. They've moved from a box they to move, some They coils. moved from there up into the coils up there. And now they'll be moving to another yeah. den site with their mom. We no, did we'll figure out how she was getting in when the doors are closed because it didn't make sense that at night these doors are closed and locked. And how was she going out for food or coming back without the workers coming in the morning and opening it? But it's under this door here. A big enough gap for her to squeeze on it. You can see all the dirt, the paw prints yeah. there. That's how she's getting back in. So we'll have to do something to secure that. She probably wouldn't want to go under there and get back into that space because of what happened today with her being evicted with a baby. So they're smart enough to know that it's not a safe place and they'll need to find a more suitable den site. Not sure how far away she went, but we want to be on the lookout for her She's in case baby. she is coming back. We'll give her another baby. They are a bit bigger, so I think we'll put it up on its end again. It's just the best way for babies that are mobile, so they're not exploring off on their own. So we'll place them all in the box, kind of like going through the coils. Nice here for them. <laughs> They're used to that. Let's go, please. Let's go. There we go. And the last guy. Their claws are just so clingy to anything they can grab onto. So three are in the box. Mom has one. Four babies total, and we'll be able to block off that space under the door and leave these guys out for her to return. So today we have four to five week old baby raccoons. There are four of them. They are so cute at this age. Their eyes are open. They're very interactive. He just wants to climb on me. <laughs> So there's number one. The mom actually does have one. We were able to successfully give her a baby already, which is great, because that starts the relocation process. Oh, you got the shirt. This is number two. Climbing all over. And this is the third in here. <laughs> He's coming out upside down. Let go. And this is number three. So they are just so cool. They truly are my favorite. So interactive. We'll bring the baby box over to where she's going under so she knows where to find them. She headed this way with the other one as well so she'll know which direction they're in. Place them here. Again, it's upwards so that they can't get out when she's coming back to take one. We are going to close this gap because we don't want her just grabbing a baby and going right back under. We just have to talk to the, the owner here to see what they want installed there. And the babies will be left here. Mom will return and be able to relocate them off into wherever she went with that first baby into the forested area there. She definitely knows where she's headed because she was so confident in the direction she went. So it was a su success. And we'll set up a trail cam so we can see what happened. And the reason, just like when we do set up boxes on rooftops, the reason the box is put there is because um, that's how she's getting in. So she's going to think at this point in time that the babies are still inside in the coils because she didn't see us remove those. And she'll go to this hole to try to get uh, back to them and she'll stumble over them in the box and relocate. 